Hello guys and welcome to this video where I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on the Bing X exchange. If you want to create an account on Bing X, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and then you will get to exactly this page right here and you can get up to $125 of bonus by just following these steps as you can see down here. So just click on the link, then you get to this page right here. You can enter your details right here and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is how you can deposit with fiat money. So with dollar, with euro or any other fiat currency. So you simply go up here on the left top and click on buy crypto right here. Then you will get to this page right here and here we can choose what currency we want to buy. So you can't have store, dollar, euro or any other fiat currency on your account, but you can simply buy a cryptocurrency with your fiat money. And then of course, exchange that cryptocurrency for any other currency on the platform. So I would recommend you just use US dollar tether. You can of course, also choose Ethereum or Bitcoin. We're just going to go for US dollar tether. Here you can choose the currency you want to deposit. So you can choose any of these, whichever country you're from, you can choose your currency. In my case, I'm going to choose Euro, but of course you can choose the US dollar or any other. And then I can just type in here the amount. Let's go for 500 Euro in this case. And as you can see, I will get around yeah, a little bit less than 500 US dollar tether for that. So I can click on buy now down here. And now I can see different service providers that are able to execute my purchase. So as you can see, I have three different options right here. I can also see what type of payment methods they are supporting. For example, credit card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, a normal bank transfer via the SEPA network. So you can choose whichever one you would like. You can also see how much you're getting right here. So which one is the cheapest price? Uh, in this case, I'm just going to choose this moon pay right here. As you can see, only one to 15 minutes, I can get the highest US dollar tether for it. And I have many different payment methods. So I can just click on buy right here. I have to confirm these agreements and then I can just click on confirm. So these steps may vary a little bit depending on which payment provider you're using, but it's pretty simple. It only takes up to five minutes. And as you can see, the money should arrive with at least within 30 minutes. So that's obviously how you can get money onto your BingX trading account by using your fiat money. Next up, I want to show you how you can also deposit with cryptocurrency. So if you already have any cryptocurrency, you can simply deposit that right here. And to do that, you simply go up here to the right on this wallet and then you click on deposit. Now you can choose the currency you want to deposit. So I can just click on here. And as you can see, these many different cryptocurrencies, I can also search for one. In this case, I want to, for example, deposit Bitcoin. I can choose the network. BTC obviously is the normal official Bitcoin network and I get my deposit address down here. So whichever address you're seeing right here, that's your personal Bitcoin address. You can copy that to your clipboard and send Bitcoin to it and then it will be credited to your account. This obviously works for any of these cryptocurrencies. For example, I also always like to um, use US dollar tethered for that type of stuff. And then you can choose the network. For example, the TRC20 network has a little bit lower fees can just copy the, the address down here and then send US dollar tether to my address and then it will be credited to my account right here. So once you've made the transfer, you can simply check if your money has arrived by just going up here to your wallet again and click on my assets. And once you're here, you can click onto your fund account. It should arrive on your fund account, but you can choose that when you deposit. And then you can see that the money that you have deposited has already arrived. It usually shouldn't take that long. Once the money has arrived, we now have to transfer that money to our futures account because right now it's in the fund account, but to use Use it to trade we need to have it in our futures account so i just go up here to transfer i select it from my fund account into my perpetual futures account we're going to trade perpetual futures it's just better and then select the currency in my case us dollar tether and i can type in the amount in my case i'm just going to select all of it 120 usdt around that and i click on confirm as you can see it's a success i can cancel it if i go back to my assets i can see now the money is in my futures account. All right, so now I want to trade it and to open the trading platform, we simply go up here to derivatives and then select perpetual futures. We're gonna trade perpetual futures. I'm gonna click on that. And then we get to this page right here. It might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but I'm gonna show you everything step by step you can, so you can understand the entire platform and use it properly. So first of all, up here, we can choose our trading pair that we want to trade. So in this case, Bitcoin USDT is selected, but of course we could search for any other currency, for example, ETH, if we want to trade Ethereum with US dollar tether, any of the trading pairs that are available on the platform, you could use right here. I can click on all, and as you can see, these are all cryptocurrencies I could leverage trade right here. In this case, we're just gonna stick with Bitcoin. 
you can see the price, the change, some other information is not that important and the trading chart right here on the left top corner. So this is obviously a cutout from um, TradingView. You can select, for example, the daily chart, you can select the one hour chart, whichever one you would like. And if you just click on this little arrow right here, you could also draw some trend lines in here. Uh, you could measure some pumps and dumps if you want to do so. Um, and of course you can delete it also. So if you want to do that, you can simply do that as well. And you can of course scroll around in the chart right here and see where the price currently stands at. Right here on the right side next to it, we can see the order book. So you can see all the selling orders up here and all the buying orders in the market right now down here. Also down here, you can see the recently, the recent trades that have happened. And down here, this is the space where you can see all of your open position, your open orders that have not been executed yet, your order history and your transaction history. Um, we get to in that into that detail in just a bit once we open a position. So right here on the right side, this is basically where you can control all of your trades and uh, you can open close trades and you can also see an overview of your assets down here. So you can see in my case, I have these 120 US dollar tether as equity on my account right here that I can use to trade. Um, also up here, we can see um, uh, also down here, this available margin. If you have maybe used a little bit of your equity for one trade and you have some left, you will see that down here and your equity is always your entire capital. All right, so let's actually open a trade. So we go up here, we can choose our margin type, just leave it on isolated, I would recommend. And here you can choose your leverage. So for your long and your short positions, whichever one you would like, you can choose an up to 125X leverage. In my case, I'm just gonna stick at the beginning with let's say a 5x leverage for long and short. Click on confirm. As you can see, it has changed now up here. Then I can choose if I want to open or close a trade. I want to open one now. I can choose if I want to have a limit, market or triggered order. I would recommend you just use a market order because then you're entering the market immediately at the current market price. As you can see right here, you can't choose a price at which you want to open your position. It's doing it automatically right now at the market price. Down here, you can select how big you want your position to be. So you can select it between value and USDT or quantity in Bitcoin. Let's keep it at value actually. And now we can see, um, we can make a position up to 500, almost $600 because we have these $120 times a 5X leverage means we could actually have a position size of up to $600 basically. As you can see, if I pull it, pull it down a little bit, right here, it only goes to 270, for example, if I go for, for 50%, my position will be only big $300, and I'm only using $60 of margin right here, because I'm using a 5 x leverage. So that's, that's how the calculations right here work. So in my case, let's go for 70% maybe, so I'm using 80 USDT of my own capital in this trade, but I'm actually trading with 420 US dollar tethers, because I'm using a 5 x leverage. All right, I could also set a take profit and stop loss right here. This is also very useful, but I'm gonna show you in just a bit how you can also do that once you've opened your position. So let's just click on buy long right here. We're gonna go into a long position. And as you can see, it's already open and we can now see it down here. Let's actually scroll down a little bit so we can now go step by step through all these important information that we can see right here. So on the left side, we can see it's a Bitcoin USDT trade. It's a long trade with a 5x isolated margin leverage. We can see our position size in Bitcoin, 0 0.021 Bitcoin, which equals 420 US dollar tether. We can see our entry price where we entered the position, which is around $19,800. And we can see the mark price, which is basically the price right now. Down here, we can see our estimated liquidation price. This would mean if we would not have set um, a stop loss, which we haven't done right now, what we are gonna do, but if you don't have a stop loss at all in your position and you, the price goes down in a long position this much that basically all of your capital that you've used, your margin right here, this is your own capital in this trade. As you can see, I have $36 left from my entire capital and I have these $83 in this trade. So if it go, the price goes this much down that basically all of my capital is gone, it will be closed automatically at this price. So at around $16,000, my position would be closed immediately and then I would lose this margin. But of course we can prevent that. We could either add some margin to it and 
increase or decrease our uh, basically decrease in this case our liquidation price so we can lower it if we put more of our own margin in it or of course we can just add a stop loss right here you can see your profit on this trade so in this case i'm around 10 cents in a profit on my trace because the price has gone up a little bit which equals 0.113 percent and here i can add a take profit and stop loss so i can say at a certain price I want my position to be closed once I'm this much in profit and I want my position automatically to be closed at this price with this much loss. So I can just click on add right here and now this is very useful and very um, a very good overview. So I can say, I can see my trade right here and now I can say, okay, I could type in a certain price, for example, $20,000, I want to close my position or I could just say, you know what, if I am 50% in profit, I want to close the entire position. So it automatically calculates the price at which you want to have to close your position. So in this case, it's $21,800 because at that price, I will have a 50% profit from my $80, which means, of course, $40. And as you can see, I can select all. So I'm closing the entire position. And I can say my stop loss. You know what? If I'm 20% in a loss, I want to close the entire position. So once I'm 20% in a loss with my $80, I will have the loss of $16 in this case. And then I can just click on confirm down here. And as you can see, I can also see it visually right here. Here's my take profit. Here's my stop loss. I can see them down here. If I click on here right again, I can again see where they are and what my estimated profit and loss is. So this is very, very, very useful. I could edit it right here. I could delete them if I want to add new ones. But this is a very useful feature that you can use to trade. All right, so now you can basically wait until the price moves, you could edit these, um, you could just wait until you take profit or stop losses hit. Or now I lastly, I want to show you how you can always immediately close your position. And to do that, you can just go either on limit or market right here, I would recommend you to click on market because then you can close it immediately. Just click on market right here. So this means you're going to close your position here, you can see your profit or loss right now. <laughs> price went down a little bit. So I'm eight, eight cents in a loss right now, you can say 100%, I want to close the entire position then I can just click on confirm and I'm out of the trade again and my capital is back here. And there you have it, that's already it. Don't forget to create an account on BingX by using the link down from the video description to get to this page right here and you will be eligible to pick up the $125 of free bonus. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.